Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements 2. This is patch 2.0.2, which I'm calling Get Extended, and that is because there's a lot new a lot of new content in SS2 Extended, and a lot more of you are suddenly going to be able to use it. Now that it doesn't apply to Xbox players, as you guys know, Xbox struggles to even hold SS2 and, and Chapter 2, so we definitely can't have Extended in there as well. In fact, the whole point of Extended was so that we could create a lot more content than what Xbox could handle and have somewhere to put it where PC players could still use it. But before we get into the patch notes, we got a lot to talk about here. I want to thank some patrons because you guys are kind of keeping the train on the rails now. You guys are really helping us pull off some, some awesome stuff and I will never stop thanking you guys for helping with those uh, bug fix bounties to take care of some of those nasty engine level issues that we had no idea how to deal with and uh, we were able to attract the attention of some very knowledgeable folks who took care of those for us. So big shout out and thanks to Matt Trek, Matt Sink, Vustum, Curtis, Aaron Skiak, John Hunter Smith, Doug H, Paul Bowers, and David Wallace. And thank you everybody who's contributed in other ways. If I didn't mention you today, I will get to you in a future patch. Excuse me, future video. Future patch. Probably in the patch too, but in the video. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's get into the patch notes. We've got a lot of stuff to cover here. So as I mentioned, SS2 Extended is uh, suddenly going to be available to a lot more of you. So those of you guys who use Vortex or Nexus and get your mods through through the Nexus in some way are going to find suddenly that in the latest patch, SS2 Extended was downloaded automatically for you. And again, in, in something like Vortex, will have been activated automatically for you. And that is going to be the new normal. If you don't want Extended, you can go back to using just SS2 by going to the optional file section. And you'll find that we have a version of SS2 without extended included and the reason I put this the default is because I think most PC players are going to want this so the only reason I can think of not wanting this is if you have a space issue or if you have a 500 mod load order and adding another BA2 and ESP file is not uh, feasible but I think most of you guys are going to want this there's a lot of cool content in here I've got some of it on display whoops not that guy uh, we are in uh, we've got our level 3 pet store so you could maybe you saw in the corner of your vision there a little corgi running around uh, there's a uh, five or six new dog breeds oh there's my little chihuahua with dog armor there is small dog armor available through the pet store if you have SS2 extended there are companion flags so for each of the vanilla companions and the DLC companions we've got a custom flag available for your settlements that will unlock as you uh, get access to those companions so some of you who had all the companions will suddenly be spammed as you load up this patch with a bunch of new unlocks and in this particular patch we've also in ss2 extended added a ton of new outfits there are let's see do the math there are 67 new outfits so 26 of them are for hq staff they'll automatically be assigned to any generic hq staff added to departments and they're all themed for the various departments so there's a little more variety in your hq staff but all of them have kind of a, a vibe of engineering or administration etc and then there are 40 new one or 41 new outfits available at the various clothing store levels in settlements so between one two and three of any of the clothing store plots you'll find there are new outfits available so i've got some of them in my inventory right now so i can show them off these were all made by fest mods he does a ton of the design work uh if not all of it now um on our outfits in sim settlements too and did a ton of cool work with these let's see if i can find one here rustic rustic jacket and rags and they're all bait they're all mashups so they're all based on stuff that already exists in the vanilla game so they'll feel right at home on your settlers and on that note there's an optional file it's an esl file that will patch these new outfits into the leveled list for most of the npcs in the game most of the base npcs so that'll include like the settlers and the generic scavengers and stuff that you find around uh, you can get these outfits patched in to add a little more variety to your game so if you want that that's available on the optional files all right now let's talk about a couple of new features and then we're going to talk about some big bug fixes that you guys are probably going to be excited to see so for new features there are a couple of things one is we have added in a new thing to the holotape to help with an issue that i've noticed some people who are doing let's plays have and i don't know why because i've never experienced this but occasionally folks will find that combat music doesn't end and now while we're not always responsible for that sometimes it's the game there is an opportunity for us as to to be involved if you played a quest where we forced combat music to start we often do that for mood when we know there's a big battle about to start we'll force the music to start sooner uh, you might find that after that quest is done that the music never stopped and so if that happened from ss2 you can use this advanced tool called forced stop Forced stop combat music now like i said it won't affect things outside of ss2 so if you still have it after running that tool it means that music was caused just by the base game and it's just stuck some some you or one of your companions a game thinks is stuck in combat and hopefully 
getting in uh, actual combat and leaving will we'll fix that for you. Uh, but that was a little tool I wanted to add to help folks who are having that issue. We also have a little helper, especially for people who are playing through HQ and trying to remember all the different mechanics and rules, is uh, the ability to go back through and view those pop-ups again. So if you go into your city manager, holotape, you'll see we made it the very first thing because I figure this is a common thing that happens. People are just, they're getting hit by so many pop-ups of information and they just dismiss them real quick without thinking about it uh, or just wanna hurry up and clear through their screen. And so now you can go and view this and cycle back through them. So if you wanna see the one that was just last display, just go here, hit previous, and then hit select, and it'll show you that message exactly again. And then after you hit OK, it'll go back to the menu so you can cycle back through them again. So they start out in order that you actually saw them in the game. And if you want to get to that last one, just as soon as it pops up, hit previous, and then you can cycle backward through this to view back through the ones you've seen most recently. And you can view those uh, at your leisure. So those are all available there. We are looking into ways to display them in other ways, like perhaps an alphabetical list, but it will require some pretty uh, technical hurdles to be solved before we can do that. But for now, this was an option we had available. You can also get access to this in the MCM menu. If you go to Sim Settlements 2, it's right there above Give Holotape. We wanted to put that as one of the first things because I want to make sure that everybody sees it, even the people who don't watch these patch videos, because I think that's pretty important. You can read that information to learn all of the complicated mechanics without necessarily having to go to the wiki. Uh, speaking of the wiki, I will uh, try and remember to put a link below. We do have a bunch of pictures, a lot of the new outfits on there. So if you want to take a look at those before you decide whether or not you want to inject that patch or not. All right, so those are some of the new features. Uh, some bug fixes that I think are of note. A lot of you guys have had trouble with uh, Edmund, Pastor Edmund in chapter two. If you found that you weren't able to speak to him prior, you should suddenly be able to. His conversation should start. We figured out why that was happening for some folks and not others, and it should just work now for everybody. Uh, and then let's see some other ones. Companions can go to HQ. This was always meant to be a feature at launch and it just never worked correctly and I finally figured out why. So you should now find that any of your companions that are living at a settlement currently should should suddenly have should suddenly get the HQ dialogue when you talk to them. Uh, speaking of the HQ dialogue, the first time you use it after this patch, you are going to get some pop-ups explaining it. I've seen people using it where they're uncertain how they're supposed to get access to like the trade menu and stuff anymore on their settlers, and the pop-ups will explain that to you. And then uh, I think the last thing worth mentioning is for those of you guys who have had an issue where your settlements don't seem to work correctly with SS2 rules, you'll find that this all these numbers on the right are all zeroing out or things like caravan connections aren't working or your commercial plots will never build because it thinks that there is no residential even though you have it and uh, that is all probably being caused by some data corruption and we figured out in a a way to repair that so it will not recover lost resources if that happened to you and if you're wondering how that data corruption happens it generally has to do with uninstalling mods mid playthrough it causes all sorts of weird issues in your save file lost references and stuff generally uh, your your best bet is to never uninstall a mod until you're ready to start a new character otherwise you can cause all sorts of chaos but we do have a way to kind of gracefully recover from it you'll have to regen the resources but at least you can do you can get things like your uh, your production to start Start up again your counters for how many plots you have to count for things toward commercial and your caravans working once again in existing saves now this all happens in the background you don't have to do anything so if you had an issue like that on a save go check out go try visiting that settlement again and see if things are suddenly working as you'd expect maybe go there sleep 24 hours and see if you're seeing resources generated all right, guys, now comes my favorite part of the video, which is giving away some free merch. So if you made it this far, uh, I've got a hashtag for you. If you leave a comment below, tell me a story about the mod, tell me a bug, tell me something funny that happened to you, anything more interesting than just this hashtag. And uh, I'll randomly select one of you guys in the next 24 hours to give away some free merch. We got coffee mugs, we got t-shirts, we got notebooks, all, all sorts of cool stuff with various SS2 or SS1 and SS2 related logos on them. And uh, that hashtag today is outfit overload so hashtag outfit overload because you're going to be overloaded with outfits after this patch if you have ss2 extended there are so many to choose from uh, i'm very excited to get those out to you guys because uh fest put a lot of work into them all right guys with all that said take care and enjoy the mods <laughs>